Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making a bone broth. This I'm using bones and a few other ingredients over here, which I will be showing you in a bit. So please keep watching to see how I do this recipe. I do my bone broth in the instant pot and it takes quite a short time to cook. So I'll be using a bones, uh, bones, beef bones. And I'll be using fresh herbs from the garden. Yeah, I have uh, oregano and the sage, which I'll chop down. Then I'm using my homemade um, ginger and garlic paste. I also use a little bit of black pepper and coriander. Coriander powder, these are the only two spices I'll be using. I'll also use uh, one chopped onion, one chopped onion. Yeah, oh, so actually this is just like everything that I'll be using, plus the bones. Okay. Yeah, so. This is my instant pot. I'll set it to the salt. Gives me 30 minutes. Then I'll let it for it to be a, a little bit hot, and I'll put a little bit of uh, sunflower oil. I'm going to to brown my my bones. Just a little bit, like a teaspoon. Yeah, so I'll give it a few minutes to be hot. And when it's hot, I will put my bones and wait for them to brown. Yeah, my, my instant pot is already hot, so I'll put in the bones carefully. One by one. So now I'll give them time. I'll let them brown from there. how the bones look after browning so I'm adding my vegetables you can actually remove the bones and start adding the vegetables to the bones but I don't do that I just add my vegetables so I'm going to add my spring onion and I'll add my red onion and let that cook for a bit and the onion to cook it a little bit and I'll add soil and spices and uh, hot water and warm water and I'll let it boil. Now since the bones have already browned, I'm going to add the uh, Himalayan pink salt. I'll add a little bit like a half a teaspoon. Uh, that's enough. Then I'll add a spoonful of A spoonful of ginger and garlic powder. You can see it's a little browning down here. You can see the eye pot is ready. Some coating or some kind of stuff. That's what gives the broth a very nice flavor. At this stage, I've already added water and covered my iPod. Then I'll take it to the this knob here. I'll take it to ceiling down there. Then I'll put soup broth. It takes around one hour, but uh, yeah. I would like to cook my bones for one hour. I don't like cooking. You can cook for longer. The longer the better. But for me, I just do one hour. And after that, I just serve it and also enjoy the bones. I don't like them to overcook. 